Just over 700 miles away from the Meadows, the Shangri-La Resort in Afton, Oklahoma is once again ready to play host to the MLW Oklahoma Series. Hello everybody, I'm Kyle Schultz, this is Tommy Coughlin. We welcome you to Shangri-La Resort, like we said, for the sequel to last year's inaugural event. That's right, it's the Oklahoma Series between Tommy's Mallards at five and four and the Great Lakes Gators at three and six. Yeah, we're coming off of a really, really disappointing outing against the Eagles. We got swept and we did not see it coming and it just, it honestly stung. Yep. Um, Jordan and myself only combined for three hits after a red hot start. So it was, a lot, like I said, it was a wake up call. I mean, it hurt and I was looking to bounce back today. So here in Oklahoma, we got myself, Jordan Robles, Caden Irwin, just us three today. So we got our kind of our core three here. You know, myself or Caden really got to step up on the mound. We got to put together a good game after Jordan's two good, hopefully, games and uh, throw well, get the bats going and get some wins here. And as for the Great Lakes Skaters, they're coming off a very solid series against the Diamondbacks. They took that one two out of three and Cheatham was a star in that one. Two home runs, two wins, so I expect him to get two starts on the mound today. And uh, it's been no secret, Tommy. The Gators have had your number the past two seasons. 6-0 and versus you guys, and you guys haven't even scored a run. I just want to ask you, how much do you think about that, and what's it going to take really to change that today? I mean, it's known. It's known in our clubhouse. They make jokes about it all the time. I see comments about it. So, uh, I mean, of course it's on our mind, but we're hoping to score early. You know, get on them in game one, get that monkey off our back, and uh, get, put together a series win. Right. The environment here is going to be insane, folks. we got a lot of fans coming in from out of state, from the local area. And one more plug, MLWmerch.com's got tees, hats, jerseys, sweatshirts, uh, and more. So link in the description for that. And without further ado, it's time now for the player interviews. All right, Chris, this is probably the first time you played in front of a crowd. First time, obviously, in MLW playing in Oklahoma. What's the nerves like? What's the excitement levels like? Uh, a lot of both, Kyle. You know, it, it's a big series. Really need to lock in on the mound, but I think there's going to be a little bit of nerves from both teams. You know, we haven't really played in front of a crowd like this before, but we got to remember just another wiffle ball series. So, you know, we just got to come out there and play our best and, and give it our best shot. All right, Robles, you're in Oklahoma. You got a good Gators team that's hot. Um, what's it going to take to turn it around? Uh, not getting hit and getting more than one hit this series. So that's what I'm going to try and do. Hit the ball over the fence. Usually you score more than they do. You win every time. So we're going to try and do that today. Love it. Time now for the second annual MLW Oklahoma Series. Here we go, folks. The second ever MLW Oklahoma Series. Brendan Jorgensen will be the starting pitcher for the Gators. And Jordan Robles will lead off. Here we go. Oh, ball four, Robles with the leadoff walk for the Mallards. Now up for the Mallards, number 32, Tommy Cotton. Pitch from Jorgensen. Swing and miss, got him on strikes on the riser. One on one out for Caden Irwin. Inside, first and second for Robles. Ball four to Robles and we're loaded with just one away. Swing and miss, got him on strikes. Two away. Base is still loaded. And it's Caden Irwin. Ball four, and the Mallards lead at 1-0 in the first. Jorgie having control issues and causing scores. Swing and shot, left field. One roll of score for sure. And Coughlin stays at three. It's an RBI single for Jordan Robles. 2-0 Mallards in the first. Swing a shot to right field at the track, and Zerlak gets to play three outs. It could have been a lot worse. The Mallards score two, but no more. Georgie escapes. Critical damage. The pause. Oh, swing and a miss. Strike three. Adam Gesson, one away. Pitch from Robles. What a pitch from Jordan Robles. Strike three. Two down in the bottom of the first. Now it's Zerlak. Next up to the Gators, number 12, Brendan Zerlak. Fair ball to the right side. And he got him at first. Jordan Robles with the peg. One, two, three inning. Very solid in the first. We had to two now in a two nothing ball game. Mallard's leading. Fair ball to the left side, Jordan. The throw, got him at first. What a play from 14. One down in the second. Irwin with a ground out. And he walked him on four. So we get ground ball fair, back to Jordy. 
The flip to first, got him. Robles with that speed, gets to third, he's in there. He goes from first to third on the ground now. He moves him up. And now there's two away. Caden Irwin, the hitter. Jorge in the headband. Strikes him out. And that does it for the top of the second. Still 2-0, headed to the bottom of the second. Swing and a miss on the drop, strike three. Oh, tipped in the zone, strike three. Robles, cruising in second inning. Pitch from Jordan. Outside, wasn't that bad for Brendan Zerlay. Swing and a miss, he got him on strikes. Robles loves it and they're out of the inning. All right, top three, 2-0 game. So we're gonna fair ball down the left field line. Robles will go two. He's gonna be safe. Safe, he's in there. Jordan Robles with a double. And the crowd loves it. Some trouble in left field from Cheatham. Fair ball down the left field line. Robles will go two. He's Swing and a miss, nice drop from Dorgy. One down. Outside, first and second, and it's Robles again. Oh, what a pitch from Brendan Jorgensen. Strike three on the drop off the corner. Need to replay on that one. Swing a shot to left field. Cheatham won't get there, it's off the wall. Here comes Robles. Jay behold, dead wall. Tommy gets his second, Irwin gets his third. And the Mallards lead it 3-0. Tommy Coughlin gets it done. Ball four, base is loaded. So we have fair ball back to Jordy. The flip got him at first. Zerlak like snags it. 3 0 game. Last call for the Gators now in game one of this series. Number 14, Brandon Jordan. Robles taking his time. Swing and a miss on the drop. Strike three. He is so locked in right now. Nice pitch from Robles. And we've got two away. Chris Last call for the Gators in game one. They need a late game rally. Fair ball to the right side. To the base. And the Mallards win game one by a score of 3 nothing. Jordan Robles throws a gem. Gators couldn't get anything going. And that's the game, ladies and gentlemen. Midwest Mallards three, Great Lakes Gators zero. I came all the way from California, okay? California. Do you know how far that is? Do you know where we are? We're in Oklahoma right now. Okay? So you better subscribe to MLW, like right now. Right, right now. All right, that is going to do it. The Mallards win game one, 3 0. I'll go to Caden first. Just the environment. Uh, how do you sum it up? Oh, this is crazy. The fans were awesome. It was nice meeting everybody, and the atmosphere was absolutely unreal. Jordan was amazing on the mountain tonight. It's great. Tommy, what else can you say from Jordan Robles throwing a gem in game one? Uh, it was good to see. It was good to see after kind of a rocky series for all of us last uh, well, a couple weeks ago. Uh, it was good to see Jordan go out there and uh, no hitter. So That's right. a great outing, and it really felt great, and it gave us a lot of confidence at the plate too. So. And Jordan Robles, I mean, you were just flawless. You were dialed in. I could see in your eyes just what was the feeling like on the mound and at the plate here in game one uh, at the Shangri-La. This is what I live for. I love the big moments and it gets no bigger than this. Having a live crowd, something I've never experienced. So this is exactly what I needed to bounce back from last year. So I'm very happy with our performance overall, everybody. And I love this. I love this experience here. <laughs> I love it. And that does it for game one. Now on with the video, let's go.
When I walk into an arcade, all bets are off. Let's go! Oh, oh my Nobody god! Nobody wins that! He's done it again! He's done it again! Oh, damn! There's endless possibilities, unlimited tickets. Usually I'm Daniel's coach on these kind of days in the arcade. People have it twisted and backwards. The media doesn't tell you everything. And people think that Daniel here is the arcade pro, when in reality it's 100% me, and he's my apprentice. In Quick Trap, to get a jackpot, you can't miss a single ball. The problem today is this guy walked in the arcade like he was already a champ. You heard about this documentary and the rumors going around of all the footage and he was not coachable. I need guys that are coachable. I was giving him strategic tips, how to play quick drop, all that kind of stuff. Wasn't listening, just flat out was not listening to me, any advice I had. So what did I do? I walk over to the game next door, win the jackpot my second try. Dan went in there today. Here's the problem with Dan's strategy. When I walk into an arcade, I figure out what's the quickest way I can rob this arcade of as many tickets as possible, okay? He went in there and focused on one game. Wrong strategy. You go in there, you need to survey the field see what's out there, and then you lock in on the easiest one and you just rob them over and over again. Out of credits, Out of credits. and no jackpot. Yeah, I'm so close. So, you know, I had confidence coming in, but clearly it didn't work out, and Tommy definitely let me know about it. You come in with an inflated head, that's what happens. So I, think it's, I hope this is a humbling experience for Daniel, as I sit here with my actual Sour Punch large size straw compared to his. I got the family size, he got the regular. What can you say about the camaraderie of an arcade? Like how much can that bring people together? It can bring you together or tear you apart as I found out today with Tom. <laughs> Anyone out there who's on the come up in the arcade space, I'd be happy to take you under my wing and uh, move on from, from Dan. All right, folks, we got night two. The Gators now at three and seven, really fighting for playoff seating. The D-backs are right behind them at two and seven. And meanwhile, the Mallards are looking to win the series. So night two at the Shangri-La starts now. All right, here we go. First up for the gate is number 27, Chris Cheatham. Jordan Robles back on the mound. Oh, what a screwball from Jordan Robles. Started out, came in. Cheatham is caught looking. Oh, what a pitch from Robles. Two away. Zero balls, two strikes. Can it be a one, two, three inning? Can Robles get there? He gets it. One, two, three, go the Gators. And we head to the bottom of the first in a scoreless game. Oh, super curve from Chris. Tooks him off. And he gets Robles there. One out in the bottom of the first. Outside. Ball four. Oh, nice pitch from Sheetham off the corner. Strike three, two away. Back to Sheetham. The flip to first. Oh no, dropped! An error from Brendan Zerlag. You don't see that often. Robles gets on, Tommy moves to third. That might be what the Mallards need. To center field! And it's gonna drop, Caden Irwin scores. It's an RBI single for Tommy Coughlin. The Mallards once again strike first. It's 1-0 in the first. TC3 gets it done. Swing and a miss, Cheatham strikes out Irwin. But the Mallards get one. We had to two. That Zerlag error could be costly. Ground ball back to Robles. The flip to first, and that is how you do it. One away in the second. Shot to left field, Caden Irwin. Not in time, face hit for Brendan Jorgensen. A lot of speed, track background, he's beating that out all day. To left center field, carrying! And Irwin at the wall makes the grab. Jorgensen holds. Couple feet short, one away. Number 27, Chris Cheatham. Let's get him to bite on that drop ball. 
Robles sits down Cheatham. And we head to the bottom of the second 1 0 game. First up for the Mallards, number one, Jordan Robles. Oh, shot to center field, off the wall, leadoff single on the first pitch of the bottom of the second. Robles squared that one up, it's a leadoff single. Nice pitch. Stun Tommy, strikeout. What a pitch from Cheatham on the drop ball again. That thing is biting. Walks him on four, first and second. Mallard's brewing something up with two outs. TC3 the hitter. Number 32, Tommy Cobb. Fair ball to the left side. The peg. Oh, nice play from Brendan Jorgensen. Three outs. He gets Irwin at third. It's a fielder's choice in the book. And that brings us to the BL 101 trivia question of the day. And it's a good one today, folks. So last year's Oklahoma series video, as I get nailed by the camera, has 1.8 million views on YouTube. And that's the most viewed video on our channel. But can you guess number two? And that's right. It's the 2018 pitching tutorial video. Pitch from Robles with two strikes on Jorgie. Drop ball. Got him swinging. Strike three. Robles looking like that number one pick that we all expect. Just takes one swing of the bat and this game will be tied. Swing and miss. Robles having his way on that drop ball. Two down and Cheatham is the last call for the Gators in game two. The pitch from number one. Got him on strikes. 2-0 oh and two nice. Robles once again throws a gem. We head now to game three in just a couple minutes. Is this going to be in the video? Oh, it's got a chance. It's got a it's time to give out some free cards. Game three, final game of the series at Shangri-La starts now. Chris Cheatham, the pitcher, for the second time tonight. Shot to right field. Zerlak gets a hand on it. But it's going to be a Robles single to lead off game three. He is hitting the ball this series. Here's Tommy. Can go yard at any point. And it's to left center. Jorgensen, no play. He's in there too, foot stayed on the base. Back to back singles for the Mallers, first and second. Very early in game three. 22, Caden Irwin. It's a hit parade, Let's see if Caden can keep it going. Popped right back to Chris, makes the play. Robles tags, holds. One away, first and second. What a slider from Chris Cheatham. Off the top pipe, filthy pitch. And we've got two away. Back to Chris, a lot of spin on that ball. The flip to first, he got him. Three outs in the inning. Mallards failed to score in the first. Gators now looking to get the bats going. All right, folks, it's time for the relay race. We have a couple duos out here. So group one's gonna have to bear crawl all the way out to the mound, tap their teammate's hand. They're gonna crab walk to the fence. They're gonna run back. And then whoever throws a strike first to our mini strike zone over here, they're not used to it. They get free merch and they'll be happy and then we'll proceed with the game. So here we go. Three, two, one, go. And they're off. Very tied. And the New Jersey kid is in the lead. Passes off to Anders. And he's crab walking all the way to the fence. The hat falls. They both spill. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, now you run, now you run, now you run. Who's going to throw the strike first? Anders beats into the spot for free merch. They both miss on their first attempt. They're both chucking. Chucking heat. Who's it going to be? Oh, they both missed their thirds. They're off the mark. Free t-shirts on the line for these kids. And we got a winner! Give me some nugs. And Zerlak comes out with the prize. They get the free MLW merch. And give it up for our winners, everybody. Nick and Ryan win the relay race. Now on with the game. Caden Irwin pitching in game three for Quack Attack. 
Inside again, left it. Ball four, Cheatham with a leadoff walk. Oh, my nice slider from Caden Owen. Oh, nice pitch from Caden Irwin, the slider at 70 miles an hour. He goes down looking, two away. To right, shallow, Caden Irwin makes the play. The Mallards are rolling in Oklahoma. Oh my goodness, they are gelling so well, the fan base is into it. And we head to the second. But before that, Tommy Coughlin is mic'd up. How much faith do you have in Caden? <laughs> I don't want to go out there. <laughs> I do, but I don't. I'm not going to lie, it was hot last year too, but playing's a whole different story. It's uh, pretty steamy out here. I'm, I'm glistening. Oh, right in the face. He's all right. He's a tough kid. Chris has taken a beating this weekend on the field in the car ride here. 12 hour plus van ride with the boys. And uh, we played a lot of different iMessage games, a lot of iPhone games, a lot of eight ball. A lot of word hunt, and Chris was kind of the kind of the butt of the joke out there. I can't lie, I felt bad for the kid, but I've been through it too. This is a good turnout, though. I definitely think we have more people here in Oklahoma this year than we did last year by like probably 25 to 30 percent more. So that's awesome to see. People from California, New Jersey, Wisconsin, Arkansas, Missouri. And a lot of big fans, a lot of pipe it up fans. They got a, they got a sign behind me. Good job, Caden, let's go. Who is this guy? Good job, Caden, one more. That Caden's rolling. Probably should have had him go the whole time instead of me. It's really a bummer Caden couldn't play uh, the first two series of the year. Well, I'm glad he's here out in Oklahoma experiencing this. That's my favorite part about all this is just having the guys we brought in and have given a lot to us uh, coming out here and experiencing a, a trip like this, a vacation like this, at a resort like this. It's just really great and we really, really appreciate uh, Lee and the people at Shangri-La for making this happen. You, you, you! Let's go, Caden! That's an inning, baby! Let's go! Come on! It's gonna miss. Cheat him with a strikeout on Caden. And Robles, ball four. Here we go, Tom. Tommy Coughlin, the Mallard captain. Shout out to the Mallard fan base. I don't know if I've ever heard a louder fan base at one of our out-of-state events. Shot back to Cheatham. The play at second, overthrown. And Robles goes three. Another error from the Gators. And Tommy scampers over to second. Second and third. Another costly error for the Gators. No runs come in, but now they're knocking on the door. That fan base is getting hyped. There you go. Got him on the swing. Robles will look to drive him in. To right field, fair ball! But he got him at first! What a play for Brendan Zerlag. He had an error earlier in the night and he bounces back, gets him at first. And we still have a scoreless ball game. Get the leg! Yeah! Let's go, Garland! Swing and a miss. Ate him up on that screwing two seamer. One down in the second for the Gators. Let's go, Garland! Shot to center field. Robles at second base makes the play. And we've got two down in the second for Cheatham. Swing and a miss. That one ate him up. All right, third inning. Last inning of regulation in this series. Who's gonna take you home? Swing and a miss on the curve. Cheatham had his way on three pitches with Tom there. What a pitch from Chris. Might have been the best one of the night. What a drop for 2-7. Sweet shot to left field, and that one is gone! Jonas Robles home run over the monster. Sets the fan base.
face off and they lead it in the third. Quack attack. Jordan Robles gets it done. Oh my goodness, you knew it would happen. And the fan base crowds him. And they cover him. Oh, you love to see that. Oh, that is insane. The highlight of the year, possibly. And Mallard Nation lets him know. What a moment that was. Whack attack! Whack and Alex attack. from LA loves it. Whack attack. <laughs> oh, nice drop from Chris Cheatham. Strike three. That does it for the top of the third, and they will look to sweep the Gators here in the bottom frame. Number 14, Brandon Jorgensen. Fair ball! Jorgensen, that's, that's a fair ball. That was rolling, that was rolling. Jorgensen's gonna get on base with a leadoff single. Here is Zerlag. Fair ball, up the middle! Save the second! Jorgensen beats it out. It's a single for Zerlag. And they've got something brewing in the third. Zerlag on first base is the winning run. Environment is crazy right now. Swing and a miss. Irwin got him. What in that bet? We're going to make that an MLW pitch by pitch. You guys got to see this whole thing. Whew. What a battle. And he got him on strikes. Two down, it's gonna be Zerlag. Last chance for the Gators. 1-0 game. Jorgensen with a ton of speed on second. It's just gonna take a ground ball. Number 12, Brendan Zerlag. Two outs, two outs, two outs. Mallard fans have been loud all night. They're as loud as ever now. The pitch from Irwin. Swing and a miss! Quack attack! They sweep the Gators at Shangri-La in Oklahoma and improve to a record of eight and four on the season. And the Great Lakes Gators are down to three and nine. Oh my goodness, what a series. What an environment. And the Mallard fans are gonna storm the field. Oh, I've never seen this before. What a moment for them. What a series. What a scene at Shangri-La. And that's a wrap on the second ever MLW Oklahoma series. I'll go to Tommy first, the captain. I just want to ask you about this fan base. They've been incredible all night. What does that mean to you as the captain? 
It means a lot, man. It's crazy. You know, when I made this franchise a couple years ago and just coming up with the team name and the slogan and that stuff, and then when I'm playing right field, hearing people scream it behind me, it's pretty funny. So I really appreciate everyone that came out, and uh, it's just pretty surreal. Write it down. I'll leave Jordan for last. Caden Irwin with a phenomenal performance in Game 3. Uh, what were you feeling on the mound? And to pitch in front of this crowd, just how is that? I mean, the crowd was really propelling me. And then seeing Jordan go yard over the monster, I mean, it was just inevitable that I had to pitch that well. So I appreciate him getting us the lead. And the fans were awesome. It propelled me to the win. So it was right. great. Yep. And Jordan Robles, of course, the MVP chance. MVP! Yeah. MVP! MVP! Like when you MVP! came into this league, yep. did you expect this would happen? MVP! Not a shot. Not a shot. I'm so thankful just to be a part of this. The fact that I'm playing well is just a bonus on top of it. Uh, I love being here. Mallard Nation came out. I'm happy. I love it. I love the signs, love the noise, love all of it. And I have to ask about the home run. What were you looking for there? And just talk about that moment. I was looking for like a high slider. He had been kind of killing me with that earlier in the game. And uh, off the bat, it felt great. I hit it high enough. I was just hoping that it went far enough. I had a couple extra scrambled eggs this morning. I think that was a difference maker. Re really, uh, really helped to get over. And it's only right I end it with this. When I say quack, you say attack. Quack, attack, quack, attack, quack, attack, quack, attack. Quack, attack. Quack, attack.